get her. And I couldn't bring her. But I loved my child before I knew her. Look on her! Does grief and shame not cause through her veins in more force than blood? She's a murderer! This is the only answer for it! Yeah! Yes! These Walls is a new play written specifically for Datta's prison, bringing to life the history and people who lived, worked and died here. The performance is a promenade piece. The actors guide us around the maze of cells and we encounter vignettes, small performances that give us a little bit more understanding of personal journeys. We did a performance with the York Cosmic Museum last year and that uh, show was very successful. Uh, it was a great project um, from both organisations' point of view, so we decided to, to do it again. And then when we came into these, these, these cells, the debtors' prison, it felt like an obvious place to make a piece of theatre. The history of the building is really exciting. It was built as a showpiece um, for Yorkshire as a whole, not just for the city of York. And the conditions down here were awful. There was a lot of abuses that went on. It's quite a, quite a terrifying system. Can you hear her? I must find her. The research that I got from the collections facilitator here was brilliant and I was drawn to specific stories um, and because I was focusing on the kind of female narrative I kind of picked three or four really strong women's stories and they sort of formed the backbone of the piece. All of this is based on true life stories. We wanted to make sure it was based on solid archival research but the play also has some elements that are a bit more kind of artistic license. Oh me, me, I don't want to. So the play is set mainly at the end of the 18th, the beginning of the 19th century and that was because that felt like a really interesting time for me. There was a lot of change going on but I couldn't quite resist some of the stories that were slightly earlier and slightly later so I just cheated a bit and kind of stuck them all in. But to make the sort of the narrative pull together so it's not just a series of vignettes or scenes about historical characters, she's created fictional characters that she imagined would have been in this prison so she's created a more sort of a generic jailer character but also a daughter of the jailer. So the jailer represents the criminal justice system, the way things are, whereas the daughter represents the alternative point of view, the questioning of the justice system. Get you some over here. You're making a show and you set a man up. Oh, and that's a crime too, is it? Speaking up! It is. The audience is so much closer than in an open theatre, so if you were performing in a theatre, you'd have to make everything very big and expressions but here every small detail needs to be seen by everyone, so it's a lot more naturalistic. I feel like it's actually easier to relate to the character when you're in the prison because you think she could have been in this cell. As an audience, we become part of that. We are a witness, we are onlookers, we are new inmates and even part of the gallows mob. So the performance truly is immersive and participatory. Love the atmosphere. I think going down into the, the prisons was just fabulous. It was you felt a part of the whole event. You, you felt that you were in the cells. You actually wanted to talk to the characters. Really cleverly staged. Amazing how they did that and, and choreographed it so that uh, as we were moving around, other people were getting different experiences, different scenes all happening at the same time. And I think to set the play in such an evocative environment, it's like the essence of them and the ghosts and the suffering is all still here in the, in the fabric of the building.
when you use a space as a workspace and a performance space rather than seeing it for what it is like a museum or an exhibition I think you really get to know it better and I also think it's very interesting playing a character who will have actually lived within these walls within this uh, within this museum and within the jail that's here so I don't know I feel like if I visited the museum again afterwards it would make it a deeper more emotional experience after actually knowing what the people who were there in real life have been through. <laughs> Museums are more than repositories for objects. Objects and spaces can enable us to look through a window to the past. We can experience how others lived. We can consider social history, walking in the footsteps of real people that lived within these walls. But more than that, we are telling stories. Working with young people has allowed them to engage with their history and their heritage through performance and theatre and that's a big thing that's come out of this collaboration.